Kenu watu wangu, karibuni sana. Guys, kuna hii video ime trade sana kila mali. Uh, ni ya mama u mama kwa hapa na kijana wake. Imagine u kijana ni surprise mamake. Mamake amekuwa kifanya kazi pare Lebanon. Imagine for that years, kama mfanyi kazi wa nyumba. Housemaid, ha house manager. Imagine, ame, ame peleka mtoto wake, u kijana wake hapa. Uh, shule akasomea pilot na saizi kijana wake ashapata kazi so umama alikuwa na travel kijana wake akasema i'm surprised imagine yani hata huwezi amini na kuambia zile makizi huyu kijana amepewa na mamake e, alafu mpaka watu kwa nilio, nimeona watu wanalia tu akasema ai it's too much you know uku aye ye ya mtoto wana ana mchum mwa mama ke na mchum mwa yani wana chumiana like three minutes bila ku stop kuchumiana imagine we sasa nimeona hii video and i have felt it's good to talk about this guys unaona zire dreams zenye uko nazo push towards those dreams Usiwai give up. Ata kama life iko aje. Usiwai give up. Because one day, one time, yani utakuja kuflaya. Utakuja kuflaya matuda ya kazi yako. Uh, watu wenye wako huku girl, most of the time na wambianga wa kitoka Kenya, kuna zire dreams unakuanga nazo. Na si hata mtu mwenye anatoka Kenya, hata watu wenye tu, wako Kenya. Ukianzisha kitu, kuna zire dreams unakuanga nazo. Kuna zire plans unakuanga nazo. Just work towards your plan. Now, so I give up. Mm? Umesama nataka kununua shamba. Nataka kujenga. Try, for, try to focus. Kabisa. Unauna u mama imagine 30 years. 30 years. Akingangana. Guy, yu unafikiria ni mudagani. 30 years kufanya kazi. Hai, mi hata siyezani. But, u mama ame focus. Kuzi alikuwa nataka kijana wake asome. So, ame focus. Juu chini kumsomesha mpaka sasa huu kijana wake akafika mahali amefika saa hizi so uh, acheni niwaambie hakuna kitu poa like to see your dreams come true you know uta struggle sana uta struggle sana at least uki ukinikubalilia ukipalilia dreams zako cause kuna challenges like acheni niwaambie kufanya hii kazi ya nyumba ati ndio unasomesha mtu Unakuanga umejinyima sana. Kitu ya kwanza, acha ni ukuambie. Ukiwa huku, hizi kwanza hizi inchi za warabu. Aya, ya, ya. Kitu ya kwanza ni dry spell. Dry spell inakuchapa mbaya sana. Na hakuna kitu utafanya. Hakuna kitu utafanya. Ha? Utapata awa watu, unawapikia, unawapatia chakula. Yani wanakufanya madharao. Yani watu wenye mwai fanya kazi za nyumba, munajua how it feels. Ukua pale, una unafanyia watu kazi una yani we ndio kila kitu pale na unafikiria mtoto wako maybe hata hujui kama amekula hujui ama a, amelala aje hujui mahali amelala naona kama saa hizi mimi sijui hata mahali mtoto wangu amelala sijui na niko hapa so inakuanga it's a very very big uh, sacrifice kwa especially watu wenye wanafanya kazi za nyumba. Mm? Unaangalia familia ya wenyewe, ilihari familia yako iko. Mm? Mtoto wako wako anaangaliwa na mtu mwingine, wewe uko hapo unaangalia watoto wanye. So it's a it's a very very big uh, sacrifice. So umama kufanya kuji sacrifice that years. Jamani sio mchezo. One one to that years akifanya kazi ya nyumba. It's not a joke. Ai ai hata umama ako na roho, ako na roho but acheni niwaambie mtu mwenye anafudisha anaweza kaa anaweza kaa hiyo miaka cuz acheni niwaambie kitu ya kwanza unaendaga kusema e eh, unaona ai ndio mtoto wangu anaenda grade 4 unasema acha ni niongeze ongeze mtoto wangu at least afike wapi afike maybe uh, class 8 ndio huwa anafika class 8 unasema wa ndio hiyo secondary haya secondary ndio hiyo anasoma akimalizia pale kwanza unaona anafanya vizuri unasema acha ni mpush akimalizia ndio huwa anatoka unasema ndio hiyo university akimaliza university tena kuna kitu kingine inakuja so unapata 30 years zitaisha tu zitaisha ukiwa hapa ukifanya kazi ya nyumba hmm? 
but si advice watu waka hiyo miaka yote but just work towards your goals ukiona goals zako zime zimetimia you know just live just live but usikubali kuacha kazi kama dreams zako hazijakuja they, they have not come true hmm? maybe kwa hiyo kazi ulikuwa umesema nitaenda nitafute pesa ya biashara just focus on that until your dream come true <coughs> we nakwambia hiyo hii video imefanya ni feel so so emotional eh mpaka watu wengine wanasema huyu kijana hata anataka kisi ya mdomo kutoka kwa mamake eh eh mimi jamani nimesema hizo makisi eh zime zimezidi zimezidi ay 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 eh but naye mama amefurahia yani mpaka mimi nikamwaga machozi nikasema yani hakuna kitu poa kama mzazi kuona mtoto wake amefaulu kwa hii life guy ake hakuna it's i think it's the best best feeling ever in this world kuna mtoto wako amesoma ndio huyu ashapata kazi mm. ako at least ako in a good position hakuna kitu poa kama hiyo mm. na sisi watoto tafadhali tukumbukange wazazi wetu mm. si wazazi wetu kutusaidia tu but we don't remember them acheni tukuange tunawakumbuka wakitufanyia mambo you know mambo mazuri a lot of sacrifice that they have done for us acheni na sisi tukuange at least tunawakumbuka kwa hiyo unajua wazazi wetu wana wanakuanga pale they are there for us huh? each and every moment but sasa wakishazeeka unapata sisi watoto tunawasahau sana namba kubwa huwa wanasahau wazazi wao hmm? acheni niwaambie uh, watu wenye wanakumbuka wazazi wao i think it's 20% unapatanga 80% wamesahau wazazi wao so acheni tukumbukange wazazi wetu cause wametutoa mbali and they have sacrificed a lot for us imagine huo mama kuangalia mtoto ameangalia amekaa that years akifanya kazi ya nyumba hmm? yani he najaribu tu kufikilia that years kwa kichwa yangu ay 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 nakwambia ni miaka mingi sana so uh, guys i hope ume tume, tume learn kitu and uh, just kama uko na kitu if you have any thoughts about this just comment in the comment section and uh, nawapenda sana na niliwaambia soon soon nitakuwa nafanya interviews nitakuwa na share namba yangu hapa kama unataka tufanye interview tunafanya and uh, tunaelimishana yeah that's 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 the best thing in this life yeah so kwenda wakati mwema na wapenda sana and take care may god be with you bye bye take care